Hello everyone. Welcome to Jira Training. In this tutorial, we will learn about advanced search in Jira and introduction to JQL. JQL stands for Jira Query Language. JQL is the most powerful and flexible way to search for issues in Jira. You really need to understand JQL well if you want to become a Jira power user. Now, advanced searching in Jira uses JQL. You use JQL to form queries, and queries are a series of simple elements strung together to form a complex question. Say, for example, you are looking for a particular issue type in a particular duration or certain project assigned to someone, then you have to write simple queries and then have the keywords added or attach them together to fulfill that criteria so that you can find that actual issue or uh, uh, actual issue that you're looking for in Jira. Now, basic parts of queries are fields, operators, and values. So let's get started and see what all, how, what advanced um, search is all about and what are the elements of the queries. So to start with the uh, searching, you need to go to the issues drop down and click on search for issues. By default, Jira will open the basic search wherein you can select the criteria from the drop down uh, provided and it will list the results that you're looking for. Okay, so for example, I select a Mumba project with issue type as bug. So it will list all the bugs within Mumba project. Okay, now if you want to switch to the advanced search, the only thing you have to do is click on this advanced button here and you can switch to advanced search and start using JQL. Now, you, you notice here that I had selected project and issue type in basic search and when I switch to advanced search, the values are already populated. So what does that mean? It means basic search anyways uses JQL in the background. Okay, so when as soon as you select the criteria in those drop downs, it's in the background it's using JQL to filter out the results. But if you want to write more complex queries, there, not all keywords are supported in the basic search. So if you want to write more complex queries and really want to um, search the issues that you're looking for, then you have to switch to advanced search because basic search won't support each and every search type. So the second part of this tutorial um, is to understand what are the basic part of the queries. So as I explained initially, the basic part of queries are fields, operators, and values. So what exactly are these? So if you see the query here, the first part of the query, project is equal to MOP. Project is the field, is equal to is the operator, and MOP is the value. And that makes one simple query. Then second highlighted section is issue type is equal to bug. So issue type is field is equal to is uh, operator and bug is the value. So these are the two queries which are combined with a AND keyword to make it a compound clause. And that's when you see the results. So for example, you are seeing the result, all the bugs in Mumba project because of this compound clause. Okay, if you just search for project is equal to MOP, it will search, it will list all the issues within that particular project. So in order to make a compound clause or the complex queries, you need to have an idea of the simple queries and then combining them together to form the complex queries. So in that's all about, you know, like um, introduction about advanced search and JQL. In further sessions, we will get into more details of the important keywords supported by JQL. Thank you.